Hey guys, this is uh, Brennan Galley, and I'm here to do follow-up answers to YouTube questions. I really appreciate all the questions and comments that I receive and all the subscriptions as well. Uh, and this is how I say thank you, is I, I directly answer whatever questions you might have. So uh, the next one, it is uh, it was an inquiry to find out how uh, how the nudge feature worked and to get more in depth with that because I've done this in other videos but not very deeply. So I'm going to go to my grid mode. And then inside of here, you can see that I have uh, this kick option selected, right? Which is that pitchy. So in this window, I have my zoom icon so I can move around. I can either pinch and move around and select whichever note I want to. Once I pinch and move around, I can go and select my selector tool and I can select that singular uh, performance bit, which is the second hit. So if I just use my wheel right now, I'm on nudge, and it's going to be locked into the grid. So that's when I do nothing. That's when I move it around. If I hold down this don't snap, now I can move that in nice and free-flowing. really pick the position I want. Again, I'm going to snap it in. Uh, if I change the, the grid mode, so inside of the main screen, if I go note repeat, and if I go to 30 second notes, now that nudge factor will be by a 30 second note. So this is what it was before, and there's a 30 second. I could even go back to the main and I could hold down again my no repeat and select a 64th note. So now my nudge value is by 64th notes. And then uh, I have a bunch of other options down below as well. Uh, so you can see whenever I see this little arrow in the bottom left here, it means if I hold down a shift, I have other options. So now I have all my cut, copy, mute, solo, all that kind of stuff. So I can say copy, and then I can find another location. So let's go up to the top, and then here, I'll hold down shift, and I'll say paste. So now I have that in there twice. I could also, of course, go shift, and then do cut, and then put that anywhere that I want to as well. So again, shift and paste. So this is how I take events and kind of move them around wherever I want them to be. Um, right now, I can, I with the nudge, just moving the entire uh, selection around. If I say edit start, then I just uh, correct the very beginning. And if I go to edit end, of course, that's just going to change the end. Uh, transposition is for moving that note up and down. Uh, so if I was playing in a key group and doing something with keyboards, this would change all the notes that I have selected. Again, I can multi-select just by using that highlight. And if I wanted to zoom and select everything, I'd zoom out and then just highlight everything. And now I can transpose. There we go. I also have this arrow on the bottom right, and that works really well for velocity. Um, so now I can see the different velocity and everything selected. So now I can bring down the volume. Um, but of course, I could also go and select individual notes like that, and now control velocity. Or do it right here as well. Um, so it gives me a lot of... Uh, a lot of ability in there. If I press this a second time now, it's even larger, and so I can really get into there and carve uh, that velocity performance however I want it to be. Highlight, move, that kind of stuff. Um, I have my erase tab up top, so I can just get rid of entire uh, notes. Let's get out of here. Uh, and now I can just go and tap notes to get rid of them if I want to. Undo will, of course, undo that. And then my pencil tab where I can just like draw in events. <laughs> and do that sort of thing with it. Um, I hope that that explains the screen a little bit more. Um, if you have any more questions, certainly leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching my videos.